salmon is ready, Miss Kamisato. I've folded and packaged it for you. Oh, and the other item we discussed? That's ready, too. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It is a beautiful piece of clothing, and it was a pleasure to work on. See you again next time. Traveler, I have a gift for you. Whoa, looks super fancy. Is that for wearing in your hair? It's a hairpin in the style of a white heron. As well as a hair accessory, you can also use it as an ornament. I couldn't ask for your help and offer nothing at all in return. So this is my gift to you. I'm glad you like it. Speaking of white herons, that's what your title means, doesn't it? Hirasagi Himegimi. So this gift is like a little piece of yourself. It's just as elegant and beautiful as you are. <laughs> you flatter me, Paimon. If this gift reminds you of me, that is all I could ask for. <laughs> it definitely will. Alright, well, now we've got what we came for, we can set off! Time to go meet Tsubaki! myself the same question. How strange. I'm quite sure that this is the location my mother wrote about, but surely... Hmm... I'm starting to have second thoughts. But since we're here, I still think we should go inside and explore in full. Yeah, makes sense. Who knows? Maybe there's a surprise waiting in there for us. So, um, what does the notebook say exactly? Let me think. A crane brings one fresh flower in its beak to decorate my hair, while a white rabbit sews a hemline from four rays of moonlight. Dressed appropriately, I face eastward and call out Tsubaki's name seven times. In the blink of an eye, I'm standing on the path that leads to her house. Sounds like a fairy tale. So your mom would do a little ritual, and just like that, Tsubaki would come to meet her? I have a feeling that it could be some sort of code. Let's get a little closer before coming to any conclusions.
bushes on the rocks in here. Could that be anything? Nobody here. Just this box. Let's see what's inside. Did it open? Did it open? Did our Inazuma Deptus leave any treasure here? What's this? Huh. Looks like a book. It seems to be another notebook. Could it be Tsubaki's notebook? Let's step back outside now. The atmosphere here is different than I'd imagined. Somehow, it makes me a little reluctant to open the notebook. Hyman knows what you mean. Reading in low light is really bad for your eyes. <sighs> Come on, let's get back outside.
do just fine. All right, let's see what the notebook says. Oh, ooh, Paimon bets it's all about mysterious treasure! Oh, so exciting! What is it? Uh, why are you whispering all of a sudden? You're making Paimon nervous. You want to let Ayaka read the notebook without distraction. Seems whatever's written in there must be pretty major after all. But, um, based on her expression, probably not a treasure map. Hmm, what could it be? Traveler, Paimon, sorry to keep you waiting so long. No worries, it wasn't long at all. You're a very fast reader. Yes, I have. I think I ought to share the truth of this notebook with you both. Even though the contents are completely different than what I was expecting. Different how? You mean it wasn't a fox envoy who wrote this? Not a fox envoy, no. It turns out that Tsubaki's real identity... ...is my mother herself. Huh? Surprised? Me too. But that's what it says at the very beginning of the notebook. <clears throat> Tsubaki and I are the same person, and yet we are different. When I become Tsubaki, I stop being Kami Sato Kayo and become the most ordinary woman in the world. What follows in these pages is the ordinary, everyday life of a regular person. Nothing more, nothing less. This notebook is, for the most part, a collection of my mother's musings, both private and trivial. All of the things we thought were about Tsubaki... ...were in fact about my mother herself. So, that means that the kimono design... ...and the international dishes... ...are things that my mother wished to try, yes. I'm sure this all sounds utterly bizarre to you. But to me at least... ...my mother's behavior is completely understandable. Or, to put it another way, I... I actually have another side to myself as well. I was at a loss for words when I started reading the contents of the notebook. It almost felt like... Like someone had looked inside my mind, examined my thoughts, and then written them all down on paper. Ayaka... From the moment my mother married my father, she became the mother of the Kamisato household. And with that came all sorts of duties. At the same time, the prestige of the Yashiro Commission brought its own share of responsibility. On top of that, every action she ever took was seen as representing the Kamisato clan. People were always watching her. Under such circumstances, she never had much time to do the things she really wanted to do. After my parents passed away, Ayato and I took over responsibility for the affairs of the clan. We ran into all sorts of difficulties during that time. I'm not sure if people outside the clan could ever imagine what it was like. Every time I found myself up against a difficult issue, I'd ask myself, did my mother go through this too? What would she have done in this situation? Maybe it's because it had been so long since I last saw her, but... Somehow, all that was left of her in my mind was the sight of her that inspired awe and commanded respect. But my image of her was incorrect. When I read this notebook, I realized... She was just like me. 
underneath whatever position she may have held, she was just an ordinary person. She liked pretty kimonos, she wanted to try food from different places, she yearned to see sights she'd never seen before. Maybe this all sounds immature to you, but I feel just the same way. I want to live life not as Kamisato Ayaka, but as an ordinary woman. Mother wrote that she'd always wanted to go to a local Inazuman festival. She said that sometimes, on a clear night, if you looked out from our house, you could see lights off in the distance. I've seen those lights too. It looks so lively with so many people. And it's so brightly lit it makes the whole sky glow. Of course, sometimes it does make me a bit anxious from a public order perspective. But for someone of my position to just show up at a festival with no warning, it could be considered improper etiquette. Especially in my parents' generation, when the Yashiro Commission didn't have a particularly close relationship with the populace. Even if no one stopped us, the idea of the Yashiro Commission going out into the crowd, it'd certainly draw some strange looks. People would probably start thinking there was trouble afoot. Mother said that she didn't want to put people on edge. She wanted everyone to enjoy the fun and freedom of the festival. She didn't want to disturb them, and didn't have much free time anyway, so she never went. Not even once. Aww, so the kimono design... That must have been the outfit she planned on wearing if she ever did go to a festival, right? That's right. And sometimes, festivals sell international food. She wanted to try that, too. I hope this isn't a disrespectful thing to say, but... I never knew my mother was so in touch with her inner child. <laughs> well, that's not disrespectful at all. Paimon thinks your mom was the best of both. A big softy on the inside, and a big sense of responsibility on the outside. Hmm. Without knowing it, I've ended up fulfilling several of my mother's wishes already. <sighs> but going to a festival is the one thing that I cannot do for her. Perhaps this is one thing that can simply never be. I understand. Thank you. I think I realize something now. Mother and I are so similar in so many ways. The things she faced are things that I too will go on to face. She chose to place her unfulfilled wishes onto the identity of Tsubaki. As for me, I've already decided. Oh, so you decided on an alter ego too? No, um... I don't plan to do anything like that. I think... I think I will set myself a new goal. To live each day without regrets. So, um... Traveler, I... <clears throat> <sighs> Deep breaths, Ayaka. Deep breaths. <sighs> Would you be at all interested in checking out an Inazuman festival? Paimon's been dying to go ever since we saw that poster! Paimon would love to go with you, Ayaka! Hey, come on, don't make fun! It's just because I used to have the same concerns my mother did. But now, I don't think I need to worry about it so much. I'm going to be true to myself and fulfill the wish that my mother and I shared. I know that you of all people can understand me going my own way on this. So, let's do this, you and me. Let's go to a festival together. Paimon wants to come! Festivals here have loads of tasty snacks too, right? Oh, and fun and games! Great! Thanks, you guys. If we head over now, we should still make it in time. Oh, good point! Today is the last day, right? What are we waiting for? Let's go!
since it's the final day, many of the visitors must have already returned home. I've heard that the peddlers often close up shop earlier on the last day, because there are fewer people around. I'll go and ask. Whatever happens, I at least need to go inside just this once. <laughs> That's the way to go! We'll be right there with you! It hasn't closed yet. It's just that there aren't many people left. Let's hurry and see as much as we can. Hey, look at that stall! They have so many masks! Paimon's heard that everyone's supposed to wear a mask at these kinds of festivals. Is that rule still around nowadays, or...? That used to be the custom, yes. And today, it's still a popular way to dress up during festivals, but it's not a hard and fast rule. Hey! Is that who I think it is? Miss Kamisato, right? Oh, uh... <clears throat> Greetings. People seem to recognize Ayaka wherever we go. Hmm. Guess that's just what it's like when you're a famous Inazuman. <laughs> but of course! The Kamisato clan leads the Yashiro Commission. It's one of the most well-known clans in Inazuma. Not least because back when Master and Miss Kamisato had just taken over the family's affairs, they used to make public appearances all the time. Some of the younger generations have never even seen Miss Kamisato in person before. Being the age I am, I'm lucky enough to have seen her on many occasions over the years. You're too kind. My brother and I simply go where we must to fulfill our duties. <laughs> but this is the first time I've seen anyone from your family at a festival. There must be some official business, I take it. Uh... Oh, there isn't actually. Today, I'm taking my traveler friend here around to see the sights. Oh, a traveler? Huh, now that you mention it, you do look like you've come a long way to get here. First time in Inazuma? Hope you enjoy yourself, young one. Ah, excuse me one second. Hey everyone, listen up! Don't close up yet! Miss Kamisato has come to join the festival! N no it's not like that. Please, there's no need to make a fuss. We're just here to... Yeah, thanks a lot, mister! If you hadn't let them know, they'd start closing down about now, right? At least it sure looks like that time of day. Haha, <laughs> yep, you got it. But on account of this being the first time Miss Kamisato has ever come to the festival, it seems only fair to keep things open a little longer. Oh, here's a couple of masks for you. On the house. No, 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 no. You've been far too accommodating to us already. We couldn't possibly... Ah, uh, don't give me all that. Here you go. Here you go. It's not often that we regular folks get some attention from the Yashiro Commission, so I've got to mark the occasion somehow. Besides, it'll make me look bad if you refuse. <laughs> but... Okay, I think I understand. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You have yourself a good time. Uh, sir, do you have anything for Paimon? Oh, hello there, kiddo. Um, I'm sorry, but we don't have any masks in your size. Huh? Surely you're not gonna let Paimon be the only one at the festival without a mask? <laughs> Paimon, don't worry. Wearing a mask is optional. But... but... Hmm, Paimon doesn't want to feel left out. How about... a tree leaf? That should be enough to cover up that little face of yours. What? No way! 
Well, okay then. Hmm. In that case, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do right now. But don't you worry, kiddo. I'll have a mini mask made specially for you when I get back. I cannot thank you enough. Aw, uh, it's nothing. But I won't hold you up any longer. You should go and enjoy the festival while everything's still lit up. All right. Traveler, shall we? Oh, wait. Um, just one thing. I need to explain myself. I got a little nervous back there and... I just made up any old excuse. But don't think of this as me taking you sightseeing, please. I brought you here because... Because I genuinely wanted to spend time with you. Okay, great. Look! This stall's doing fortune slips. Miss Kamisato! Hello there! You're out with friends today? Oh, what a rare privilege! Welcome, welcome! Would you like to give it a go? Okay. How much is it per draw? <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to know this, but the Yashiro Commission was very good to my uncle and my father's side at one point in time. Thinking about it? It was when your father was around. I think he dealt with it personally. So you see, how could I possibly take your money? What? Are you sure? Of course. If you like what you see, then please, be my guest. Same goes for your two friends here. Traveler? Paimon? What do you think? It seems like everyone wants to do something nice for Ayaka. So, if they insist, who are we to resist? Well, if that's how you feel, then... Okay. We'll take you up on your kind offer, sir. Let's each do a draw. Alrighty then. Whenever you're ready. Draw a slip and reveal your fortune. Open it up and see how you fare. Whoa! Which one did you get? Paimon got Rising Fortune. No way! We got the same one! Traveler, what did you get? Wow! You're so lucky! Oh, congratulations are in order. Here's what great fortune from heaven means. The blessings of the gods are upon you. Your voyage ahead shall be plain sailing, and all your endeavors shall prosper. In other words, your good luck isn't about to run out anytime soon. What a great sign! Good things lie ahead! Congratulations! You all have very fine fortunes lined up. With this kind of luck, you'll certainly be able to achieve anything that you wish. Well said! Here's hoping that our good luck will never run out! This food stall sells all kinds of Inazuman specialties. Anything you want to eat, it's my treat. Wow, it all looks so good! Um, is it okay if Paimon has one of everything? <laughs> of course it is. Hmm, but wait! 
don't want anything to go to waste. Let's try them one at a time. Ooh, Ayaka, Paima wants those dango. Sure. Uh-huh, those look good too. Ooh, but so do the egg rolls. Paima will try an egg roll too, please. All right then. I too shall have a sakura mochi. All right, coming right up. This sakura mochi is just delicious. Not bad, huh? It's one of our best sellers. Oh, please, sir. Paima would like some more. I don't know if it's rude of me to ask, but how is this kind of snack actually made? <laughs> you want to try your hand at making it yourself? No problem. Just give me a second and I'll write out the recipe for you. Ooh, a new recipe? Are you sure about this? If you share the recipe, isn't that tantamount to giving away your trade secrets or something? Well, it was you who gave Kiminami Restaurant that recipe for an overseas dish, wasn't it? <laughs> she and I are good friends. We trade culinary tips all the time. Here you go. Just treat it as me returning a favor on behalf of my friend. Thank you so much. I will study it very carefully and try my best to do it justice. You there. You want the recipe too? Go on, I can see that you enjoyed it. <sighs> There's no greater feeling than creating delicious food with your own two hands. You should definitely give it a try. I will. Once I've learned how to make it, will you two be my taste testers? Oh, definitely! Can't wait! Alright. I'll do my best. Well, we may have arrived near the end of the festival, but it's still been super fun. Paimon approves! Yes, I agree. To spend the festival together with you today has been a truly wonderful experience. This doll sells prayer plaques. It's an Inazuman tradition. You draw your wish onto a pentagonal piece of wood called a prayer plaque, and pray that it will come true. Sounds similar to the way people in Leela release lanterns during Lantern Rite. Those are used for making wishes, too. Welcome. Looking for prayer plaques? Every wish is sacred, and you've still got time to make yours before the festival ends. Looks fun! Shall we give it a try? Oh, wait, there's writing and drawing involved? Ugh, count Paimon out then. Paimon's head's feeling kind of fuzzy after eating so much just now. Not the best time for an intense burst of mental activity. Two prayer plaques, please, sir. Two prayer plaques for the young lady. There you go. Traveler, have you decided on your wish? Yes. You can either draw a picture to represent your wish or write it out in words. Either way, once you've committed your wish onto your plaque, please hang it onto the prayer rack. Wait, so they'll be on public display? Hmm. All right, well, let's see what you got. That will do for mine. May I see yours? This is you and your sister, isn't it? It's lovely. You'll be back together one day. Paimon believes it, and you should too. I believe it too. Your wish will surely come true. And I will keep you in my prayers. Ayaka, what did you draw? Is that Tenchukaku? That's right. I wish for peace and happiness for everyone in Inazuma, and good health for my family and friends. <sighs> I do hope that wish can come true. Thank you. That gives me hope. <sighs> I think that 
that might be all we have time for today. Aww, it's time to leave already? I'm afraid so. The festival is coming to a close. Time flies when you're having fun. It seems to flow away from you like a rushing river. As precious and short-lived as a cherry blossom dancing in the wind. Hmm. It's time to leave. Traveler. Today was the first time in my life that I've ever been to a festival. You've known me for some time now. I think you understand my personality, don't you? Knowing me, I just know that today could not have been such a happy day without you. So thank you. Today really meant a lot to me. And the memories will always have a special place in my heart. Festivals are great. There aren't many rules. Everyone has that smile that comes from deep inside, and it's just so carefree and happy. If I ever get the chance, <laughs> I want to go again. You too? Great! You know, we're kind of similar. Me with my brother, you with your sister. Sometimes... I feel like I can relate to the determination you must have to get your sister back. Hmm. I understand. Family bonds are inseparable. No one can break them. They are the most important roots we have in this world. You will find her. Come what may, you must never give up. I will always be here for you as your... <clears throat> as your friend. I will always support you. <laughs> as long as you're happy, I'm happy. Traveler, huh? there's something that I'd like to do, if you could spare me yet another moment. <sighs> Please, keep your eyes on me. What do you think of my dance? Did you... like it? It was so pretty! Beautiful, elegant, and... and something else Paimon can't put into words. Hmm... Paimon doesn't really know what it was, but it is art! 
I'm not very good at this kind of dance. So, as long as I didn't embarrass myself, that's all that matters. I just... had a sudden urge, and I ran with it. <laughs> In a way, that sort of sums up today for me. Dancing like nobody's watching. That goes for you, too. When I'm with you, time seems to slow down and speed up at the same time. Anyway, it looks like this is goodbye for today. I can see myself the rest of the way back. Good night, traveler. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs>